All right, in this video, I'm going to be discussing questions people have been having about the new 2.4.4 version. When they go to install it, they see this folder right here, Rain Device Drivers. Uh, they ask, what is this folder for and do I need anything in it? Uh, when we click inside, you'll see uh, different folders for each of the various Rain devices for Scratch Live. Uh, do I need these folders and what do I need them for? Uh, well, these folders are only for core audio support on Mac. Uh, that means you can use the uh, uh, your sound card and other programs besides Scratch Live, so Tractor, Ableton, Virtual DJ, Mix 5s, etc. Uh, not Scratch Live. Scratch Live installs the drivers for all these uh, devices automatically in the main installer, but these this Rain device drivers folder is only for the core audio support. Now, prior to 2.4.4, if you ever looked in your system preferences, you'll probably notice all these panels down here for each and every device. Now, more than likely, you don't own all of these, so there's really no reason to uh, have them all as they do take up a little bit of RAM and memory in the background. We look in the activity monitor, you see uh, 68, 61, 62, SL2, SL3, SL4. Uh, so they're each taking up about 4.5 megabytes of RAM, which uh, for the most part is hardly anything. But still, uh, if you don't own these devices, uh, you certainly don't need uh, these processes running in the background and taking up uh, RAM and memory. Uh, so uh, that's just the way Serato decided to change it now in 2.4.4 instead of installing them all. Uh, you can just install them individually. So, um, obviously, you probably don't want all those panels if you don't own all those devices. So if you go into each folder, uh, you'll have the main installer and then the uninstaller for it. Uh, so I mainly have the SL4 and the 62 right now, so I'm going to install these other ones. So uh, just click the uninstall command line, and you'll be asked to type in your password once. Okay, and there you go. And just simply go through the rest of them now that you don't need. So 61, I don't need this one. Just double click to install it. Yes. And you don't want to have to type your password again. Uh, let's see. 62, I want that one. SL2, nope, don't need that one. So let's install that one. All right. Uh, SL3, don't need that one. Okay. Let's uninstall that one as well. All right. So those will get rid of those processes and the panels in the system preferences, which you got to close out and then reopen again. And then, bam! Now you see they're gone. So I just had the 62 and the 60, or the SL4 panel now. Uh, so there you go. So uh, this Rain device drivers folder is only for core audio support, and that is to use your SL1, 2, 3, or 4, 61 to 57 mixer, or no 57. Sorry, there's no 57 in here because there's no core audio for it. Uh, but that's just core audio is for using. Uh, the SL box or your rain mixer and other programs besides Scratch Live, so Tractor, Ableton, uh, Virtual DJ, iTunes, or just the general sound card on your Mac computer uh, in general for iTunes and you know Internet Explorer and all that, all the system sounds will go out that. Uh, so that is what this rain device drivers folder is. So uh, and then you can also go ahead and uninstall any of the old panels that you don't need if you don't own those devices. So there you go.